okay today I'm going to show you uh, another option that you can do on a canvas bag this is a canvas bag aside from uh, decoupage on the surface you can also paint it using uh, acrylic paint okay so uh, first and foremost we need to put um, plastic in between the bag okay so that it won't sit through okay so you're gonna put a plastic in between yeah, just to secure to make sure that it doesn't um, the paint doesn't run through it yeah? again because it looks like it's not uh, proper okay and then we put it in here so we need to put in between that uh, uh, plastic okay so now we are ready uh, we're going to first uh, put the paper tape okay, I'm going to roughly put the paper tape there okay um, and uh, we're going to do also here I'm not going to be too far up here would be okay now we have to make sure that it is aligned properly okay uh, make sure in between here we have make sure that the paper tip are secured properly okay Yeah. Uh, perhaps we go in side a bit. Okay. Okay, and then a bottom. There you go, we have already secured. Uh, all the uh, area that we need. Okay, so now the next step is to paint it uh, with uh, background color. I'm using uh, this uh, soft white, okay. Uh, Joe Sonia soft white. Okay, I'm going to put on the palette. Finishing actually. Uh, okay, we have some here. And then we're going to put a uh, sealer. Okay, so it's going to be one to one. Uh, we're going to use uh, a big brush, a flat brush. 
Okay, let me get water. We need some water. Gonna wet it. And I'm going to mix the sealer with the, the paint, the acrylic paint. And we're gonna just run through like this, yeah. I have to put a bit more water on the paint. So that it is more smoother. Okay, while we're doing this, uh, we have to ensure that uh, all the areas are covered. Uh, with the paint okay and that's why I need uh, we need to put the plastic in between so that if the paint get a bit watery uh, then it will not seep through uh, to the back of the bag and the reason why we Mix uh, all purpose sealer with the background color acrylic. Uh, as you know, the canvas bag is uh, actually uh, quite porous. So, uh, one, once we seal it, when we do the painting on the top, it will not uh, absorb too much of the paint. So that's the reason why we we need to mix it with the background color. Okay. Uh, looks like I need some more. more water make sure that we have all covered eh? I need a bit more so I'm just going to use this Okay, we have it all covered now. Okay, 
So once we cover, we dry it. So we're gonna dry. Okay, once we, we have dried it, we're going to use um, three colors. Uh, the colors are this uh, Delta Pool color. So it's an acrylic based uh, paint, but it is... Um, uh, in pearl form, yeah. Uh, so you will get the pearly effect of the paint. Okay. Um, gonna use another flat brush. Okay, this is the flat brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna wet it a bit, and then I'm gonna put all the three colors onto the palette. So all these three colors we're gonna use all the three pearl colors, okay. And this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, we'll take the flat brush uh, and let it have a bit of a watery effect uh, from the brush. So we're gonna start with pink. And we're gonna just run through like that. So it has a pearly effect on here. Okay, and we're gonna wash it. I'm going to take blue and we're going to run through like that also and merge it with the pink okay so in between, uh, we need the two colors, okay, a, a bit of blue and a bit of pink, and we run through like that. So that it is more merging, yeah. So next we're gonna do is the green color. So what we need to do, we just take a uh, wat watery uh, green and we just run through. Okay. And again, we take uh, two colors, wash a bit, and. We're going to 
take uh, one side green and one side uh, blue okay uh, okay and then we gonna merge it The last we're gonna do is a pink again. So we're gonna wash it, and then we take a pink color and we merge it with the green. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take a bit of uh, green and uh, just one side and we merge it like that so that it looks uh, it's tapered in okay Alright, so we have the whole area uh, paint up. Okay, I need to wash it and then get it more smoother. We have pink there. The certain area are not covered. Okay, there you go. You have multicolored area. And we try it, yeah? Uh, this time we have to make sure that it's totally dry. It must be totally dry. Okay, we have it totally dry uh, in this area. We can actually stencil it now. So I'm going to use this uh, decorate stencil. I'm going to do a, a half stencil rather than the full stencil. And leave the other side without stenciling, so you can see the the effect. Yeah. What should I use? Uh, do like that. Okay, I make it full to stencil like this. Okay, so it's a lot easier. Okay, we take paper tape. Put 
have it secured okay and we're going to use a bouncer uh, to actually uh, do the stencil okay so I'm going to use a pure white color okay, so you can do like this so I'm going to take uh, titanium white this American titanium white and make sure it's not watery and make sure that your sponge is clean as well as uh, it's dry eh? no water so we're gonna pick up the uh, stencil and we're going to start bouncing on the on this stencil, yeah? Uh, when you pick up the paint, make sure it is not uh, too much eh? so that you won't create a smudge on your stencil results we don't want it to be blotty Okay, we're going to stop there and make it dry uh, because it will be very um, subtle. Okay, so I want it to be more, uh, a bit more on this side, a bit more uh, clearer. So I'm going to put a second layer of the white color onto this side. Okay. So... on this edge okay let's see yep Yeah. Yeah, on the sides we just uh, need to press no need to press too hard eh? so that we got a like blurry kind of effect. Whereas at the edges we need it to uh, be more bold yeah. so we will pounce it a bit harder on the side okay so uh, after I've done it uh, let's open it up okay and you will have uh, a bit of uh, design onto the side okay so this is how we want it to be and then we try it
Okay, so we have that uh, very nicely done. Okay, and here we can actually do a decoupage, or you can paint further, or write a monogram of your name, and so forth. So um, you have this uh, done, yeah. Uh, let me uh, check what I have, then we will see how it goes uh, for this, yeah.